Good afternoon, it's mine back with another ICO. This one's quite an interesting project in the sense that it's one of many inside the Nauticus blockchain. The pre-sale is currently on, which has got a 35% bonus. And if you buy in larger quantities, you know, I think it's a minimum 100,000. It's right at the bottom. Um, but you could actually end up with an extra 2 or 5%. You know, if you buy a quarter of a million, I think you'll be up to 40% discount. But anyway... Um, as you can see here, they've already got over 201,000 registered users um, on this system already. And if you do sign up, you get 100 uh, free tokens as well. Uh, sorry, coins. NTS Coins is the name of it. Now, what is Nauticus? Well, Nauticus, they're looking at forming their own blockchain, but they've structured the business in a very useful way. Um, what you're looking at doing is not just creating a single entity on the blockchain what you've got is they start with the exchange then once the exchange is up and running they will then do green ethical uh, mining and then they expand with e-commerce merchant payment processing global kyc verification and ico gateways now each one of these is viable you know the first thing is crypto exchanges especially with fiat exchange is a very viable thing It'd be interesting to actually get one that wasn't US based or I think Coinbase also registered in the UK. Um, but trying to get something slightly offshore where you can still have that fiat connection, which can allow you to transact wherever you like. Um, that'd be an interesting one once that gets developed. The mining, obviously, we all understand mining, how profitable that can be. And obviously, exchanges that pick up all those fees. Worldwide e commerce. They're reducing the cost of the e-commerce, but also for the merchant payment platforms, they're talking 0.1%. Now, on top of this, they're actually adding this, not only the global KYC verification, so you only do it once instead of having to keep sharing your information, which gives you more risk of um, theft, identity theft, because the more places that have got your information, the more likely it is to get stolen. Um, so global KYC only needs to be done once, all for that. Um, and then there's obviously the ICO gateway. Now, the good thing about this, which will link with the exchange, is once I get to this stage, there's a lot of ICOs out there, and a lot of them are not good. There's a lot of bad ones out there. Um, if you actually get a platform that can support them in a way that actually works, in the sense that they get through a screening process, you can get the quality together, and also you can support them in the sense that they may have some great ideas or massive projects that could really work but lack some fundamental things like the team members that can actually bring it together if you're actually set up right which these guys could be um you will end up with people that can advise and make your ico better make it functional make it sellable make it actually become a good project because I'm sure they're not going to want to damage their exchange by having a lot of bad ICOs on it. So I assume they're going to go down the route of the Gibraltar exchange and have some pretty strong screening to make sure it is viable. But on the other side of that is any ICO where they get through it will instantly recognize as being viable because it's already been checked. Now, timeline wise, not everything's going to happen in a day. The exchange will be up and running in by mid-2018, so we're not far from there now. The exchange, as soon as it gets online, will start generating some revenue, which is an important bit, because as soon as you start getting adoption, people start using it, you start getting um, ICOs stacking up to be listed on it. And